Hello? You gonna go catfishing? Are you a catfisherman? Okay. Huh? Are you a catfisherman? Take me to the river. Put me in the water, Willow. <laughs> yeah, she wants to go catfishing. You want to go catfishing, Willow? No. Sent Katie after gizzard shad, and all they had was daggum skipjacks, frozen ones at that, so I guess tonight we'll be fishing with doggone popsicles. I mean, the guy said they came in today, so I'm going to let them thaw out completely. I'm going to prepare them here. Since they was just caught today, they body section stood st stay firm on a hook. So you guys stay tuned. We'll be going fishing here in a little bit. Welcome back, guys. Long time no see. We're headed now to a backwater creek. Um, well, backwater creek, cove, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I've been waiting for the right opportunity to fish this place. And with as much rain as we've had and as much rain as we're supposed to get tonight, I believe this place right here can put me on a good fish. I mean, anytime you have a little bit of water rise, man, or any any water rise, it's a good time to fish. Now, that don't mean I will catch a monster here tonight, but I just think I tonight that this place has the potential for a decent blue cat. Y'all stay tuned. I haven't been on this lake for a spell. Well, it's been probably three or four weeks to a month. Um, the last time I was at this lake, I got some doggone bored. All I did was play with doggone bottle rockets. I'm bored. The fish ain't biting. Got me some bottle rockets here. They're about half frozen. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna open this fish's mouth. I can't. It's daggum frozen. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stick it through his gill. There we go. I'm gonna see if this bottle rock could take his thing's head off. Get a close up of this. Get closer. Well, he didn't blow his head off. But his lips open. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, it's still pouring rain here in Knoxville, Tennessee. Go ahead and cut this skipjack up. Guy said he caught these today, so they're still nice and fresh. I definitely want that backbone exposed. It's what holds a lot of your oils. Blood. All right. This hook I'm using tonight, I forget the name of it. It's um, made by B&M, I believe. But it's a 9 knot. I really like it because it's offset really well. And it's sharp. Really sharp. It's hitting my bait of choice, as you've seen in the beginning of the video, but <clears throat> it's enough to get by on. Can't always get what you want in this old walk of life. I'm gonna put a big old belly piece on this one right here. Same hook made by B&M. I'm what I like about them old belly pieces. They're tough. Ah. <laughs> it's raincoat on a well digger. 
Every time I've went to go fishing, it's a uh, raining. I got tired of it. Now I said, heck with it, I'm going. All right, I got these rods casted out. Now I'm gonna go up here in the car. One of my doggone hands up. Y'all stay tuned. I know one doggone thing. I was way wrong about that water being up. It ain't up at all. It's down. I don't, excuse me. I don't think I've ever seen it this down. I don't, I don't know what in the world this thing is sitting over here on this doggone uh, dock over here. It looks like something off the daggum movie Water World. Dry land is not a myth. I seen it. I'm calm now. She took a car key and got me my Reese's Pieces. This is mm. good for diabetes. I'm saving them for later. Where's all these freaking fish at, man? I might not want to touch you, Skip Jack. I'd lot I would have can't even talk. I would have lot a lot rather had gizzard shad. I could put a third rod out, but I'm not going to. As dead as it is right now, I don't see no point in it. But y'all stay tuned. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna enjoy these reishi pieces. I'll come back down here to put my other skip jack back in the bucket. One of them doggone river otters has run off with it. I don't know where in the world. Oh, any, any of you all ever had that happen to you up here? That's the second time that's happened to me. Right there's where he was laying. You can see scales. Watching me get a hit over here while I'm looking for it. Yeah, it's gone. Kiss it. It's starting to snow flurry up here in Blount County. It's cold out here. Forgot my daggum gloves. Forgot my doggone jump box to my light. It's just one of them nights. I'm sure y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm sure you've been through it. It's probably not the best place to be tonight. I mean, who knows? I mean, like I said, this skipjack ain't the best this time of year. I don't think it is anyway. Of course, I'm not going to lie. I don't use it much this time of year. And we're going to give this place a little while longer. Then we'll probably head somewhere else. Still searching for that first fish of 2023. Got hit on this one right here on the left. One good click. <clears throat> I hope it's a fish. Might be a doggone river otter. Coon. Could be anything. Stick.
I'm gonna see if I can snatch him up here in a little bit if he does it again. Yeah, it could be an early morning bite. <coughs> These baits have now been in the water almost four hours. And, um, well, three and a half, four hours, give or take. And, um, like I said, this one on the left just got licked a little bit. I'm going to give it maybe an hour after daylight. Who knows? You could be right on top of a fish, and if it ain't feeding, it ain't going to hit. I mean, I can only imagine how frustrating it must be in the boat and be able to see a big fish and it not hit nothing. <coughs> I finally got hooked up with one. After four hours. It actually feels pretty decent. Either had his foul hooked. Oh, Lord. I don't know if he's foul hooked. But... Yeah, it's an early morning bite. Come up closer, Katie. Get down here on. Get these people some good content. Go ahead, get down here and get him good. Uh, I don't know if he's just all wrapped up in it. Yeah, he's wrapped up here. I thought you was a monster. <laughs> you ain't a bad one. <sighs> you barely hooked, buddy. Ah, you calm down there, Jim. Calm down. You're going to get hooked again. Acting all ignorant. Good Lord. What have you done, Ricky? Pull him up here. Well, that's one. We'll see if we can get another. Here, come down here, let's get the release. You ready? Uh-huh. Here, get, get down here, so I'm going to see some mom. You ready? Where are you going? There he goes. Comes on. Okay. Put me another piece out there. That's one good thing about this, fishing in the wintertime. That bait will stay fresh forever in that water, man. That's another reason in the wintertime, I, summertime, I won't thaw these things out. Wintertime, I will, because they'll never thaw out in that, in that freezing water. I mean, they will, but it takes them forever. Got a scale there, didn't want to come off. That's a big no no. Just let it roll. <laughs> yeah, once I heard that bait start flipping out there, I knew it wouldn't be long till I got one. Here. All right, now I'm going to go get warm for a little bit. I got him.
I think. Will he come off? I think he's just a little guy. Yeah, he got too many head shakes. I don't know, he might be pretty decent. That's a pretty blue cat. What's happened to you, Jack? Calm down, I don't want you to hook me. I don't know what in the world you've done to yourself here. There we go. Now these are some good hooks. Are you gonna let me get that out of your mouth? Fish all night. Oh yeah. Yeah. How you doing? Right. I can't get this dog on hook out of this thing's mouth. Nah. -uh. I might have to get my pair of pliers. Get this hook out of this dog on things in there. You fishing this morning? Chubby? Yeah. yeah, I remember you. I, I called you a long time ago, a few years ago, asked if I could fish here. Yes, and that night I caught about a 60 pound blue cat. Yeah, cat. Oh, I will. Oh, will you? Well, there he is. Let's let him go. Come down here. Get out of here. Look at her. They'll go the wrong way every time. Oh, you hush. I can't stand him, old bird. 